ever so more, ever so slightly, and the first drops of rain should start in any minute. Whilst Azura M uses the lights to go out, and we do get on the way eventually. Azura with a great start. Everyone trying to keep the traction, and TJD loses it on traction. Ghosts now keep the traction, and TJD loses it on traction. Ghosts now crucially. And there's already contact between Jim Wong and Davy Lee. And Davy Lee spinning, and that is not great for his championship. Keeping it safe through there, I'd have to say, both from gaining a place on lap one. And yes, mate, got everywhere to look. Does he have damage in the Alpine? He must have damage. He's losing places left, right, and center, like the 929 stock exchange, dropping and boxing. But I don't see any damage on the car. Well, I don't, I don't see any damage. Exactly. Especially when you need the downforce in wet conditions. So there we have it now. The second lap of the race. Oturu is still leading from Jim Wong. And then TJD. 256 making up two places in front of Weasley Album, the young guy, Hayden Dillis, Martin Rickett, and... And also the Haas in, in there of Jetty. It is. Obviously, everyone still has to find the breaking points. And if some people decide, decide to destroy the brake markers again into turn four, it will, of course, only become more difficult. Trying to make a move up into Ruminator. Ruminator, yeah, sleeping a bit, losing the rear, and crashing out Lewis. So that was disaster for the Haas, just getting un really unfortunate with the timing of the incident. Just hanging in the background. Hayden's teammates are... Just hanging in the background. Jack Chocolate gaining another place there, so... Yeah, he... because Rominator just spun on the last corner and completely losing his front wing. So he has to complete now a lap without a front Still wing. locking up his front tires. So I don't think he has adjusted for the wet weather and I think may just have to break pressure on oh, to right. TJD. Oh, let's get her off. Yeah, Greaser off. Greaser. Yeah, Greaser. And that's long way off turn. Turn one, so I don't know what happened. Turn one, there. so I don't know what happened there. But now, 256 tries to send one down the inside of TJD, but thinks better of it. And meanwhile, Hayden Gillis completed a move on the a move into turn three as T as DM guy gets really much oversteer out of turn one, and Mark has to move on even before turn three. Before by two seconds quicker than the man he just overtook and up in a P14 right now. Next on his hit list will be. The young Brit there of Alex Bud. Yeah, Davy Lee desperate to make any inroads in the race. But I, I've i seen... Uh, battle can... still continue. P5, P6, and P7. Oh, yeah. Uh, Dirk's outbreaked himself a little bit through there. But he's got... Yeah, and I think something ha happened to Alex Bud or Jeddah would have... Oh, I think I it was what just... It, what, what it was actually. But you can also see with Alex Bud. Alex Bud clearly is struggling with the wet conditions. But we saw time and time again, and I think I re it really clicked for me when I saw the car of Weezy Album bottoming out. And he's almost got to take it up close to, yeah. Yeah, Hay Hayden Gill is not running right, but just locking up both front tires once again, and just nudging Weasley's back a little bit, but now Weasley going very deep into turn three. If Hayden can get any traction down Weasley should for a move into turn four, we can see the rain is starting to decrease. Tries to go to Going around the outside, maybe not the best move as a British driver around Austria. You will get a penalty. <laughs> um, so he's inside that range. Five minutes time. Let's switch over to the to the dries. Alex Bud is taking a pit stop right now. Might be a little bit too early as he cooked those tires because he's going to have to put the inters back on. Front wing change. There it is. That's the reason why. So yeah, I think it was due, just due to the. We'll see. Sandy Banky, of course, one that is liking the alternative strategy. Runs hard tires when no one would. Lewis now with another three second time penalty. Yeah, Sandy Baggy going for the medium, so he wants to run. Oh, and I don't know if maybe the medium, especially now with the damn condition, just might be a compound oh. too hard. Yeah, we can <laughs> just see he's, tr he's struggling to keep it within the boundaries of the pit exit. So they're getting on the limit, and this is also okay. So you're going to squeeze them out for a, another a couple of minutes. You also got to be careful because you have to keep the car on the track. That's probably even more difficult as your, t your tires are turned basically it's slicks at this point. 256 we don't but that now gives the chance for Hayden Gillis because 256 is just holding up Weasley and that gives the chance now to Hayden Gillis for a move into turn four. it around the outside both drivers giving much respect and plenty of room but it is Hayden Gillis finally into P5 after laps and laps of just seeing that green Aston Martin right now
I think it might be a good gamble because, yeah, five minutes time. But you got to be Mark, Mark yeah. Nolte. Yeah. Mark Nolte putting four to Red Bull team. So four you will have to be massive argued. blocker. Keep it on Hayden. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, yeah, Hayden doing the same what he did to Weasley, just waiting for the manager's batter. Then Weasley, but ultimately Hayden with the superior traction around uh, on the inside actually, and um, now into the podium positions. He's yeah, in the final it. corner right now. Oh, yes, he's lost it. He's lost it into the barrier, and he gets just into the pit lane. The teammates are tank slapping each other left and right. We still, and what's going on? T56, everything's falling apart for the Aston Martins. You think it looks good with the green strap tires next to their green car, but they are having an inter team battle, and I would not want to be. Yes, they are. I collided. T56 has hit the back of Alex Budd in the pit lane entrance, and now front wing. What is going on? This is not Jetta, guys. Effectively, but all and own Davy Lee still staying in P10, but he's yeah, Davy Lee will stay in P10. He's a long way off those guys in the pit. Lane. Are a bit too long, you mentioned it rightly. TJD staying in front of the Red Bull somewhere in the Alpha Toy garage. Pierre Hamlin will just go, okay, Pierre, good job. And we'll just be very glad for the team and for the driver of TJD. Right now, just a couple of drivers maybe slowing down, spinning. I think that was a spin there from the Haas. Yes, he is back on track. On the... Yeah, so yes, what happens? You've got still, we're forgetting that we have about 12 laps to go. And the track is going to get drier and drier and oh, quicker. Oh, and the Ferrari with another spin into the pits. An actual spin into the pits this time. Market's very slow, and that's, that's caused TP2 Cisco. Twirly Willy coming out of the corner. Almost lost the rear round, kept it on the track, likely just saved it. I don't know, Market's going very, very slow. Exactly, you were right. Market's going very, very slow. Exactly, you were right. I don't see any visible damage. Uh, but yeah, no, there is M plate. He's boxing. So, so he's yeah. not going too greatly. So you're not going to be a very popular Aston Martin driver if you do do this. <laughs> so if Weezy can get pass Hayden Gillis and also TJD and and then just stay there for the rest of the race he has a very good chance of a race win of course and now we will see Jim Wong TJD and Hayden Gillis now all pit and I wouldn't be surprised if every one of them pits for soft Weezy of course stays out only three well, laps to his race time but I think it doesn't matter anyway at this part and yeah that is everyone pitting now on soft so we will have a juicy sprint race to the finish line. Yeah, slow speed and it's cold. The track's still cold. That. Oh, he spun again. Come oh, on. and another one. And another one. And that's something Harold Marco and Franz Toss won't want to see. Oh, and that just cooks the ties unnecessarily. Weasley oh, trying to warm up his ties. Not, not to go too early to give any drivers any chance. Let's see when he will accelerate. He will go at the last possible moment. There he goes. So that is now the sprint race, two of them very clean but very fair racing, but have very hot racing. And now we will see if any one of them goes for a move into turn three. Amos Stock tries to go around the outside to get the superior traction. Turn four, you will see who comes out ahead. Weezy should be fine for now on the salt tires, and that is Amos Stock into position two. And, hey, and further down the back, Hayden Gillis tries to overtake TJ Dino. It's very Weezy close. Get too far down the road. Hayden's drop a place, I think, gets overtaken to the corner. Yes, he has. Not quite yet. Side by side. Next to 256. As they come out of turn three. The infamous turn three. So that is into turn four. 256 around the outside. Hayden Gill is getting another three-second time penalty. Cutting the corner too much. And you rightly said it, and 256 touches with the two TJD, and that gives Hayden Gillis a chance for the old switcheroo. Too much. And you rightly said it, and 256 touches with the two TJD, and that gives Hayden Gillis a chance for the old switcheroo. And I think someone in the back spawn, I think it's that's Rickard. Rickard. Yeah, Rickard into the grass, cutting some grass, cutting the daisies. Perfect with a Mercedes yeah. win the championship. But he does have those penalties, and it isn't over for 256 and Hayden Gillis. They both go into turn one, and that is. Almost making contact that Martin with Hayden Gillis. Get those penalties and really got a great exit out of there. He'll be looking at a P1 by the end of this lap. Oh, will he? Because Weasley album goes really deep on the brakes, tries to push Jim Wong as 2 a.m. is dark. Both 
Well, to, to, to be fair, AM is stuck even as all the tires are wheezy. So Jim Wong was the only one with the superior tire compound. I think that's small, you know, or Rickard. Yeah, Rickard with another spin. That's a uh, hard Taking right himself now. of Lewis. And that throws us better on the mix, isn't it? Doesn't it? And because oh, he's also a oh, and what teammate. Happened to 256 has got around somewhere, yes. Is something right. happened in the midfield fight. So that is Hayden Gillis now up into P5. He has... David Lee has front wing damage, so that is the reason why David ah. Lee is not making up any round. The only so advantage he has is got no penalties, so he might snatch a few positions back. As still Sandy Baggy, Jetty are battling it out there, tooth and nail. Really? It will be so hard for David Lee to win. TJD now trying to make a move down the around the outside of Amos Dark. Cool. Amos Dark fights it back, but now TJD has the DRS. Amos Talk as well, but Amos Talk just thinks better of it. Not just TJD, but that is TJD now into that Peach. David Lee then crucially getting the fast lap, not getting him any point, but crucially not getting Jim Wong any point. So that is Jim Wong finishing in P1 on racetrack, but that is Weasley's track, but that is Weasley getting his. And Hayden spun! Hayden spun on the last corner of the last lap! Oh no, that's the last place. Bist du denn verrückt? That is that's just. David Lee. But crucially, might be one that's so safe in the championship house. Well, what was that last corner from Aiden Gillis? Right, really? yeah, we At the end of the day. And Jim Wong right there should be the happiest camper on that podium, knowing that his championship hopes are very, very much alive. Your race rundown. That is Weasley ridding his first race for PPI Esports C3, followed by Jim Wong and Martin. TJD, AMS Stock, Sandy Baggy.